Uh, Lambert shell went underneath and it rooted the trees right beside him and real a bit fouled him and he's at the 4.5 meter line. Swift is ahead by eight. Will it be cut down? Yes, with that first charity of Lambert shell. Well, Zaldi really bit checked in for Terry Saldana, who played a great first quarter, both offensively and defensively. Lambert Shell, the cornerstone of this Santa Lucia up uprising here in the semifinals. Six-point lead for the mighty Meaties. From Al Solis to Tony Harris. From Tony Harris, will it be passed or will it be attempted? Solis to Nelson Asaitono in the paint. The jumper doesn't drop. High up for that rebound was Andy De Guzman. And Rick Rick Marata over to Lambert Shell. Very quick transition offense by Santa Lucia. They're down there with Alvarez at low post. Double team by Nelson Asaitono. And is it illegal defense? Quite a reaction from Tony Harris. As if he's never heard of the call. Tony Harris will get a warning there. It will be Andy de Guzman right in front of the Swift Mighty Meaties bench for the inbound to Rick Rick Marata. Lambert Shell is matched up against Zaldi Ria Lubit. Oh, Alvarez will lose it to the baseline. You know, Alvarez has been forced to a couple of turnovers in the in this first half alone. Paul Alvarez a little out of control in a couple of plays there. Certainly Santa Lucia hoping that they can cut down on turnovers and maximize their possessions. Here's the double team again. Currently a six-point lead for the Swift Mighty Midis. Almost a steal there by Alvarez. Oh, a triple V for Tony Harris for his ninth point of the ball game. Tony Harris has only made 26% of his three-point shots. A little drop from his previous average in his last conference last year. And certainly Tony Harris trying to get that back in his arsenal as he missed by Lambert Shell. Strong rebound results in a pass off too. But NSS and possibly a three-point play for the Swift Mighty Midi. There's no way you can stop... Verhel Meneses, once he gets the ball in the open floor, very difficult. There you see him glide in the air, kiss it off the glass. And once again, Santa Lucia will have to hustle back on defense, pre probably prevent the outlet pass for them not to see these kinds of baskets. Verhel Meneses top scored for the Swift Mighty Medes in the first quarter. He had 13-10, missed the three-point play. Andy De Guzman, yes. Quick basket for his 10th point. And getting a basket off the transition there. Still a 9-point lead for the mighty Meaties. Tony Harris. Oh, he will lose it. Initiated by De Guzman, completed by Alvarez. And that will be the third foul on Harris. Oh, yes. A bit of second motion when Alvarez was already up there. There you see this play again. Alvarez was about three steps ahead and Harris still trying to intimidate him, reach him with his chest there. Again, those moments of asininities for Tony Harris. Third personal foul and a three-point play completed by Bong Alvarez. 38-32. I like that. Moments of asininities. Nine minutes and 41 remaining in. Oh! Verhel Meneses with some fancy moves. Didn't drop the first time. The second time, as we said, he's been making a living from that spot on the right side using the glass. Yeah, well, you, you have to credit half that basket to Ria Lupe who stayed on the play there. Alvarez. Eric Reyes will be called for that foul here. Prevented Lambert Shell from getting in closer to the rim so he could get a pass from Alvarez. And Meneses has been replaced by Distrito. Meneses played a spectacular first two quarters. Some statistics in the first quarter. 65% shooting for Swift. Santa Lucia only 9 out of 22. It's a foot race. And 
Yes, Tony Harris will win it against Lambert Shell. That will be the 11th point of Tony Harris. A 10-point lead for the Swift Mighty Minis. And a triple V for Santa Lucia from Andy de Guzman on the other end. You know, for a while, I was going to say that Santa Lucia cannot stay at pace with Swift. They cannot force themselves to play at this pace because this is the kind of game that Swift won. Certainly, they will have to slow it down here. Rudy will lose it to the baseline. Rudy Di Cerito. We have eight minutes and 40 remaining. In the second quarter, Rick Rick Marata met by Rudy Di Cerito. Alvarez, after a good head and shoulder fake, gets the basketball and passes off to Zandro Limpot. It hits the foot of Reyes. Or was it Zandro Limpot? Oh, yes. They turn and, it over. And you know what Nat Canson was saying? Don't put the ball down, he was telling Jun Limpot, because it's very difficult for a big man to go through traffic there, putting the ball on the floor. They give it back to Rudy Distrito. It doesn't go. Zaldi will get it underneath. It is too strong. Al Solis will get it back. Blocked. This is the fourth attempt. Missed. Marata will let go, oh. saved, and now Reyes will lose it, finally to Alvarez who is streaking down and laying up and converting. There was no way Harris was going to come up with a defensive stance there. Harris with from three-point range, almost got it. Tip-off contest for the basketball, Lambert Shell, Rick, Rick Marata, Andy De Guzman. Oh! They lose it to the baseline. So quick action here from the Cuneta Astrodome. Too much passing that time here. Here's that last play previously. Alvarez with a finger roll off Tony Harris. Trying to force a foul there on Tony. Al Solis is bringing it down. Seven minutes and 27 remaining. Just a five-point lead for the Swift Mighty Midis. He will not get the range from underneath the rim. Ria Lubit. Oh, another pass. That went all right. But Santa Lucia presently has the momentum here. Several opportunities for Santa Lucia to get back into this game. This is the second consecutive turnover. Alvarez flicking it over Andy de Guzman's way, but de Guzman not getting the pass as it hit him from behind. Rudy Distrito's shot is short. Al Solis will get a second chance at the basket. With his left hand, he will convert. 44-37, 6 minutes and 47 remaining. Bong Alvarez against Al Solis. Zandro Limpot is asking for it. Matched up against Eric Reyes. After the triple team, the pass off to Bong Alvarez. The miss using the glass. Swift will control. Tony Harris all the way. Well, Bong Alvarez will have to offer his body as some kind of resistance here. Tony Harris cannot be allowed to just go by him, especially when the double team is not coming. Lambert shell. Oh, yes, very hard shot here. Almost threw it behind his ear, not looking at the basket. That point for Lambert shell. Seven point lead, the Swift Mighty Medes have it. Harris passes off to Reyes, a foul committed. From behind by Rick Rick Marata. You know, now we wonder why Jun Limpot is the one double teaming. Of course, we'll talk about that point after this timeout. We'll be back. We just saw an alley of execution by the Swift Mighty Medes. They're still ahead by nine, 48 to 39. Oh, a thud for Shell and Tony Harris. And Lambert Shell is in pain. As we look at Zaldi Rio Lubit on the other end, Swift scores and Shell hasn't gone up yet. And we hope it is not serious. That's a loud thud. 
coming from Lambert Shell, and he is still wincing in pain there. We can probably take a look at a replay of what happened. Moving towards the basket, and then maybe his left knee or his left arm. Yes. No call was made there by the referees. And there's Lambert Shell. He's up and about. That's a sigh of relief here for everybody. Oh, yes, because we could hear the thud from where we were. And with the way he was really trying to protect his stomach, it seemed like it was a serious, serious injury there, but they cannot come tougher than Lambert Shell here. Oh, yes. Here, here it is once again. They both fell like logs to the floor. The Lambert Shell has the basketball. De Guzman will convert from inside the paint. Well, Andy De Guzman has been keeping aflame the offense here for Santa Lucia. He has big, has been a big scorer here in the first half. Nine-point lead for the Mighty Meaties. Harris, after the ball fake, the pass off to Eric Reyes. Estrito is on the right side. On the left side is Zaldi Rulubic. But Harris will nevertheless take the Triple V. He is still perfect from Triple V country. Two out of two so far. Stretching the lead of the Mighty Meaties to 12 with four and a half remaining in the second quarter. Lambert Shell. He will convert as if nothing happened. That was the 12th point of the ball game. Well, the problem right now, Santa Lucia, is not really their offense. It's more of their defensive execution. They have not been able to stop the passes inside and the rotation of the ball here. They're still making June Limpot double team, and Limpot is a little slow coming back on defense. Oh, a strong rebound by Lambert Shell. And he gives it off to Zandro Limpot for that slam, but... Rhea Lubit was left all alone. Oh, good trail by Marata. And Santa Lucia will save it. Lambert Shell again was on the floor, but he will be up as Zandro Lipot will pass it back. 17 on the shot, shot clock for Santa Lucia. You gotta have an award here for Lambert Shell. He has been hitting the floor, but coming back like a rubber ball here. Lambert Shell with a three-point jumper. A triple B for his 15th point of the ball game. Santa Lucia inching closer. Five point lead by Swift. Three minutes and 19 remaining. And Shell continues to shake off the pain in his hands here, Jimmy. Only eight seconds on the shot clock. It's lost to Bob Alvarez. On a two on three. A foul committed by Rudy Distrito. You know, a while back, this was a 12-point lead. The lead is down to five because of a couple of turnovers and defensive stops here. Distrito will pick up foul number two. We have three minutes and five before the break. And at Goya Knickknacks at the break, an amigo will sneak in on two celebrations. The baptismal party of Al Solis' daughters and the launching of Chotres' new business. As Andrew Laporte will miss from underneath. Tony Harris will be double teamed. Oh, Rick Rick Marata wanted that basketball. Got the foul. It's only the third team foul of Santa Lucia. The proper adjustments here so far. Tony Harris against Toying Tevez. Again, Nelson Saitono is right there. Jack Kanoan didn't let go, and he committed another foul. That is foul number two on Jack Kanoan. For Santa Lucia, that is the 16 foul. Well, this has not worked for Santa Lucia in terms of defense. When they let the big guy go out to Tony Harris and double team, the big guy's guard, usually Nelson Asaitona or Terry Saldana, gets open in the middle and there's no way Marata can challenge him there. Maybe a change of a guy who will come out should be necessary here for Coach Nat Canzor. The great Marata to Toy in Tevez. A foul by Rudy Distrito. Right there in front of referee Vic Bartolome. 
That'll be the 15 foul for the Swift Mighty Moody's. That is foul number three. Yes, on Moody. That's the more significant thing there. A lot of the key players of Swift falling into foul trouble here. Lambert Shell. Bon Alvarez has 19 seconds on the soft block. There's the double team. Yes. Cross court pass ends up with Rick Rick Marata back to Toyin. Tevez. A little short. Oh, Alvarez. He's towing the baseline. And then now, Lambert Shell. <laughs> And Shell got entangled with his own teammate, Jack Tanuan, and that's why he was pretty frustrated there. Almost had a three-point play. And Distrito will pick up foul number four. Oh, yes, Rick Rick Marata was telling Jack Tanuan, he shouldn't have stopped him. Could have been a three-point play. You're now with Santa Lucia, not with Swift. <laughs> Lambert Shell. Converting the first charity, Distrito will be replaced by Teroy Albarillo. Welcome to the ball game. Yes, Distrito has to sit down because of four personal fouls. is much too valuable for Coach Yangal to risk at this stage. Shell completes two free throws and cuts down the lead of the Mighty Meaties to five with only that much time, 48 seconds remaining. Tony Harris. Al Marillo, Al Solis, oh yes, oh, A triple B. And that's what you were saying. They show different faces on their offense. This time they hit it from the corner with a three-point jumper. Back to an eight-point lead for Swift. Well fake and then the pass to Marata, Alvarez over to Jack Tanuan. A little short, Harris was right there. No baseball pass, there will be a baseball pass too. Nelson Asaitono. That is a beautiful catch by Asaitono. Backing, backtracking and then catching it with one hand. Another turnover. Meneses will have an open court shot here. Yes, what a move. Oh, yes. You will see a replay of that maybe later. But right now, that's the end of the second quarter. We'll be back.